Good morning, everybody. Hopefully you're having a wonderful whatever. Whatever time of the day or night it is, whatever planet you're on and you're receiving this transmission a year later. Welcome to Earth. Hi, my name is Bobby. I am the Emperor of the Universe. Don't call me, I'll call you. You know, especially when it comes to complaining about planets and stuff like that. Blah, blah, blah. You know what I mean? I delegate. I have somebody else take care of that. I know I wasn't supposed to do a video, I was supposed to take some days off, <sighs> but I wanted to talk about meditation real quick, and in the process, I'm sitting there looking at my Minute Maid, you know, I like Minute Maid, I love orange juice, it's really good for you, and I was reading the back end, it said, put good in, you get good out, I mean, wow, right, who knew Minute Maid got it, right, they were, they were hip, meditation, Right, let's just, it's gonna be a quick video. People, everybody wants to be important. Everybody wants to be special. Everybody wants to be somebody that everybody else goes, that person is cool, that person is hip. They're with it, they're, they're, they're connected. There's something going on with that guy or girl or non-binary, non-gender specific or whatever. But they got a little je ne sais quoi, or you know what I'm saying? They got something going on. And they're sitting on the hill and they got their, <sighs> they're posing and their eyes are closed and they're breathing. Look, meditation is not that complicated and you don't need to wear tight pants and have to have a om and you have to have a teacher and you have to read a bunch of books. Here's what meditation is, people. You space out. That's what it is. You ever catch yourself just drifting? That's meditation. If you ever catch yourself just sitting in a landscape, looking out over the beauty of a ocean or a forest, and you're just sitting there breathing, and you're just watching the birds flying around, and just enjoying the moment, and just feeling the sun on your face, and, ah, and a little breeze, that's meditation. Basically, they try to make it complicated. I know. They, you got, it's like they got to get into this trance or some shit before you can, nope. You can be meditating while you're sitting in traffic. But try to concentrate, okay? But yeah, meditation is not difficult. You don't need a guru. You don't need to read a bunch of books. You don't need to listen to a bunch of late Beatle albums. You don't have to do any of that. You just have to be in the present in the moment. You have to understand that you need to breathe. And you don't feel free not to close your eyes. You know, just look out into the to the landscape. I'm like I said, I meditate when I'm chopping cards. I'm sitting there getting ready to throw some cards. I'll sit there for about ten minutes just chopping them and and dicing them and slicing them and and that in itself is a meditation. I also listen to music. I love music, and I don't think that's a problem with meditation. I don't think you need to not have music. It's an acquired taste. It's different for everybody. You will you will find your own way to meditate. Just don't listen to other people. I know I sounds terrible, huh? There's a lot of people out there writing books and stuff. Yeah, listen, write my, read my book. Watch my video. Just, like I said, all you got to do is space out and you're meditating. All you got to do is look out a window and you're meditating. Just be present. Listen to your mind. Listen to your intuition. Because a lot of time in meditation, you'll have clarity. You'll have moments of, you know, you know. Transcension or whatever they want to call it. You know what I mean? They're basically aha moments where you go, wow, you start thinking about something that is going on in your life and maybe you find a, a solution to that problem. Or you realize the, the triggers that are making you even being developed in that problem. I mean, why don't you just walk away from the problem, right? You get sucked in, that kind of thing. Meditation is good to help you focus. It's good to help you find your way. And it helps you listen to your intuition too. So... It's kind of like that old saying, never, never do acid when you're in a bad mood. Because if you, you know what I mean, if you, because you're just going to have a bad trip. Because you, because there's underlying issues that you aren't, you're just denying and you're, you're suppressing. And then when you get on acid, that kind of like strips all that, you know, that away and you're forced to deal with it. And that's why a lot of times people freak out when they do psychedelics because they're, they're repressing some childhood trauma and stuff like that. And it just comes bursting out. And ayahuasca, apparently that is another way. That people try to like force feed their, 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 it's kind of, I don't know, for me, it's, I don't know, it's, like I talked about that before. 
I think um, ayahuasca was meant for shamans to do visions. It wasn't just for every celebrity to, to cleanse. You know what I mean? I'm just saying that. I feel kind of, I feel kind of way about that. And it's also, you know, it's important to do the, the inner work, to do the, the soul searching, to do the dark night, but you can't do it with the sip. The dark night doesn't come in a sip. And it's not gonna be done on a weekend down in South America at some retreat, you know, tripping balls on ayahuasca. It takes years to heal childhood trauma. And it takes years to break ancestor curses. You can't just do it in a weekend. You might be on the path. It might put your foot on the path to healing and to, to beginning the search of your soul, right? But it doesn't cure the dark night and the night or the day or a cup of ayahuasca. So remember that. That's important. I hate when I just, that's too frivolous. I'm sorry. If you want to be a, if you want to be a shaman, then that's another issue. But yeah. If you're just wanting to find inner peace, it's gonna take a minute. It's gonna it's gonna take some time. Not just, it's gonna take time to heal. It, it, it doesn't happen over a weekend at a retreat. Anyway, with that being said, I love you. God loves you. The universe is crazy about you. Wants you to meditate and sit in silence and love yourself. And that silence can't have a little rock and roll or a little '70s classic music, whatever. Anyway. Okay, I'm gonna let you go. I'm gonna say I love you because I'm just a big old flirt. Anyway, okay, bye.